morning. We are currently in Seattle. This is a place I've wanted to go for a very long time and Paulo has been here like three times so I really had to convince him to come here but we're excited to be here and we're gonna go catch the train and head into town. Seattle and of course our first stop is Starbucks, the original one, and then we're gonna go across the street to shop at the public market center. Public farmers market was pretty packed. Uh, took us forever to get through the crowds, but currently we're at the uh, Seattle Aquarium with the uh, Ferris wheel in the background, and there's these beautiful mountains right across this lake. It's gorgeous here. I love Seattle so far. <laughs> oh. sculpture park. There's lots of beautiful sculptures here. We're right near downtown and the Space Needle somewhere. There we go. And uh, we're gonna go grab something to eat because it is almost 1 p.m. here and then we're gonna continue exploring. We found the Space Needle up there. So we grabbed some uh, Chinese food and then we got some boba and we're going to keep walking to park that's about 25 minute walk away. After a long, steep trek up the hill or mountain, we have made it to Cary Park. And the view here is beautiful. Now we're gonna head to Chinatown and go get some 
maybe get some of their food to take back home with us and maybe get some Christmas gifts there. So we're gonna Uber there. So we made it to Chinatown. Now we're just walking. Uh, we went to a store and got some of uh, some stuff, but we found a Coca-Cola with uh, lime, which I I think that's funny. And it, oh yeah, and it's clear. See, it tastes like Coke. Um, I guess it comes from China or whatever. It's Chinese letters, <laughs> but it tastes like Coke. So they did they did a good job. We got all that. Other goodies. There's a dragon and the Chinese right there. That's cool. Alright, let's keep walking. Seattle. It's really beautiful here but really quiet so I feel like I have to whisper. But basically uh, this is right in the center of Chinatown because in the late uh, middle and late 1800s is when uh, Chinese and Japanese started to settle in Seattle and found work and then a lot of other um, Asian immigrants came here and found work and so they created this international district which is where Union Station is located. So we have officially left Chinatown and we're heading to the Columbia Center to go to the observatory deck because it's apparently the highest building in the uh, Pacific Northwest to go to an observatory deck and it is cheaper than the Space Needle. So that is where we're going. So hiking up hill. center tower and this view is gorgeous let us show you Space Needle, and it is shorter. This building is taller, so the view is worth it. So, I love this. We're moving here, for sure. For sure. <laughs> also, I want to point out, that's a very odd shaped uh, building. But I give credits to the engineers who did that because they did a really good job of keeping it balanced, especially with hills and stuff. Nice building, guys. 
Guys, guess what? We found our favorite store just around the corner in the building, corner building, Target. That's our favorite store. We got a lot of stuff in there. an alley it even says it in the back okay so we are at the gum wall and i'm getting ready to contribute to the gum wall so fun. where should i put it Hi. where should i put my piece uh up there somewhere <laughs> okay very specific the trolleys here are fully electric and then all the buses here are uh, hybrid um, use electricity too so it's pretty cool I'm really impressed with Seattle's transportation um, just because there are several um, ways to get around and there's even lime cars. You know how there's lime bikes? They have cars that you can just pick up and take from one place to another place, which is cool. by Amazon. There's a little restaurant in one of them and we're gonna check out what's in the rest. Okay so it turns out you need a reservation to go inside the sphere but there's even a dog park here. It's so cute. <laughs> city we went to Amazon go which is basically you scan in with your app and it basically detects what you pick up and so you just walk out with the crap don't scan it or anything and then all of a sudden like a few minutes later you'll get a receipt with all the items you got very strange there's also an Amazon store that is called four stars and so basically it only has items from Amazon that are four stars and up. Interesting. So we are at the Starbucks Reserve and they are known for having very different drinks, I guess. Different from the normal Starbucks. So I got a cold brew malt and Paulo got a nitro cold brew float. So we'll see how we like it. that the deciding factor for moving to Seattle was how good their street tacos were and so we went to this little um, shack I guess it was in a convenience store and we got some of their tacos and we heard people in line saying that they're some of the best that you can get and so we're like okay we'll see how good these are those tacos were so good. They were better than some of the street tacos I've had in Houston, which is saying something. So I think it's decided that we're moving here. I don't know when, but we're moving here. It's gonna happen. 
It's been a really fun day and I'm really sad that we already have to leave. But like I said, we'll definitely be back and we're moving here. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and leave any feedback for us. Alright, thanks.